Okay, well, he was... Bobby Gonzalez and his wife saved up a lot of money to take this tour. But the guy looked exactly like one of those heads. And he was puro Chicano. You know, he was... His uh, family, I'm not sure. He wasn't really sure what parts of Mexico his roots were traced to. But if you looked at this guy, his face looked like one of those monumental stone carvings. Yeah. And if you ever go to Veracruz um, or the the other lowland areas where, uh, or Oaxaca, where the Olmecs were, you will see people, living people, who look like these carvings. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, people will look at them and, you know, like one guy was telling me they look like the Hawaiian royal family. And yeah. I then pulled up the Hawaiian royal family, and I was like, wow, some of them look very similar to these carvings. Yeah. But the, the, the fact of the matter is... It was funny. There was a French archaeologist in the 1850s, sometime in the mid 19th century, who was saying, who told the world, you know, was a big advocate, telling the rest of the world, "Hey, look, people, you you wonder where these these ruins came from in the jungles?" And he was specifically talking about the Maya, but he said. Look at the murals, look at the carvings, and look at the people who are still living in the area. They look the same. It was these people here who are living here now. Their ancestors are the ones who built this stuff. Look at the carvings and look at who's here now. And it's the same with the Olmecs. If you go to the area where, you know, Monte Alban, all of these places, you'll see people walking around that look like these heads. So yeah, yeah. Sometimes the know, easier explanation could be... be... Yeah, I mean, and who are these heads? The gods, oh, you know, people are saying they're gods. I think what they are is they're all wearing helmets. And some the ancient astronaut people will say, oh, those helmets, you know, it's space helmets or whatever. But their ball court helmet protection... The, I these people could be the Charles Barkley or the Kareem Abdul Jabbar of <laughs> ancient Mexico. These could be sports heroes. Yeah, yeah. Because the oldest game in the world is the Mesoamerican ball game. It has been played for thousands of years. Yeah. And so whenever you have sports, or you have a stratified society then you have the development, the growth of sports because of the whole competition thing or whatever. And so maybe these stone carvings are of sports stars. I know it sounds trite. We all want to think that they're gods or, you know, kingly rulers or whatever. But what if it was, you know, yeah. their Charles Barkley or their Kareem or their... Carl you know, Malone. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <And> so, <laughs> I like that. I like that. that simple. It yeah, can be yeah. That simple. For sure. Because 